Seriously. Howdy, howdy. I'm here for my first time at the Coin Up Classic. I'm excited to be here with the Elevator Action Returns. I am playing on an actual Kaido F3 arcade board here, but when I first started playing this game, I was playing the Saturn version, which is also an excellent port. Um, a couple days ago, it got released on a bunch of platforms in an emulated form. Highly recommend it. But um, I'm just going to go right into it. And then uh, hopefully I can get the 1cc here. This game is, gets pretty rough around stage 4, stage 5. But I'm going to do my best. So let's uh, hit insert a credit. Bam. And I'm going to pick Jad the Tap because he's been my favorite lately. Also, he's fun. Every character is like has their own unique little differences. Uh, Jad here, uh, he's the, basically the heavy. Um, he can run through people and deal damage, which is really handy. His grenades um, explode on contact all over the screen, do kind of like shrapnel damage. It's pretty darn cool. Um, so basically we have our usual run jump. If you press both the, both buttons at once, you get a bomb attack. In other ports, uh, you can map that to a third button, but for whatever reason they chose uh, to to map it to a two button game even though like even the 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 uh the service mode has a three button input test <laughs> so i'm just gonna try to get some uh uh extra grenades because you only get two lives in this game so i try to make the most of most of my uh collecting extra grenades um by default you get 10 you can adjust it up to 20 if you play the saturn or the new s tribute version uh it defaults to 20 since that's based on the saturn version and uh, the goal of this game is to go through all the red doors. Uh, the game says to get data, but I believe it's to uh, dis defuse bombs that Red Suit here put down. Uh, canonically, that is his name. Uh, the only place where they say that is in the soundtrack. <laughs> but I have accepted that's his name. Uh, if I was going for a speed run, I would uh, jump down the elevator there while I still had iframes. But uh, for me, it's not always consistent to do. All right. The first stage is a really good introductory stage. It's kind of like a callback to the original elevator action that came out like in 82, I think. There we go. Um, first stage is really easy. Uh, stage two is also pretty easy. Uh, there's a trick I want to do in stage two that was uh, mainly used for the speed run, but it works in this game and it's pretty free to do if you get it, but or rather there's no risk in doing it. Yeah, this is pretty much like a reimagining rather than like anything else. Let's see. Alright, sweet cuts and bombs. Go, barrel, go! <laughs> Look at that barrel. That barrel's doing work for us. That rocket launcher. Rocket launcher, uh, so there's like two pickup weapons you can get a rocket launcher and the minigun. Uh, or I guess machine gun, I don't know. Uh, but the rocket launcher is by far the best because it goes through enemies, it deletes bullets, uh, and it does a lot of damage. The only downside is that you get a limited amount of shots. Alright. Get some more. So yeah, just jazz, just ram through everyone. So you also have a melee attack, um... Jad and, and Edie have uh, an additional attack and you press jump after attacking, which honestly I didn't know about until a few days ago when I was reading the description of the Steam uh, page. Because <laughs> it's like, it's cool, but it's not really all that useful. So like, there's a couple of these scenes where you're just like, uh, enemies are gonna fly in, you shoot them. There's only like a couple of them. So they don't overstay their welcome. Get on a giant plane. And then another one of these. And then there's one more after this, but that's not until the end of the next stage. So yeah, one really cool thing is if they're caught on fire, uh, they can catch other people on fire too. <laughs> 
which is really, really handy for just like taking out enemies without having to spend too much ammo. So I was trying to fall down a floor while I had iframes, but uh, I didn't time my uh, run uh, input, so I just stopped at the wall. Mostly useful for speed runs, but it's nice just to skip a cycle if I can. So now I just wait here for the elevator. Steal that guy's elevator. He was kind enough to give it to me. Yo, nice. So I'm just trying to avoid taking damage as well, because like you only get two lives in this game, and I want to make my first life count uh, as much as possible. Um, I don't know. I think each character is about the same in difficulty in terms of one CC. It just depends on your preference of characters. Uh, Cart is my favorite guy to go to, but everyone has their different preferences on characters they like. <laughs> Oops, tapped a bit too much there. Um, I want to get to that because I want more bombs. So his bombs are kind of weird in that um, if you toss them down, they only explode when they hit something, uh, so they can stick around for a bit. So it's kind of useful in the sense that you can uh, lay them down for strategy. But if you just need to blow something up and they don't hit anything, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, just sitting there, and you wasted a bomb. <laughs> uh, cart. Uh, just a bit of regular bomb sweep. Right. For some reason, even though I know this, I know all the doors in this game, for some reason, I keep thinking that one. Oh no, okay. Uh, you can get crushed by elevators. Let's see. Nope. Let's see if there was an item drop there. Once in a while, there's an item drop there. Usually it's nothing, but I've had it be a rocket launcher once before. And that's really handy. Had to wait for the elevator anyways. So these guys in the trench coats, um, they're real fast shooters. Uh, they're, you can't you can't like outrun them or anything. Like, the moment they see you, they're they're shooting. wasted a few grenades there. I was trying to kill the enemies before they shot me, but they got a few shots in. Well, like, this game is really generous to health if you are, if for health, if you, uh, just, uh, get good on the roulettes. So there's health here. Nice. Uh, alcohol gives you the most health. <laughs> uh, burgers and fries give you the least. Uh, sandwiches are kind of in the middle. Wait. I'm not sure what that item was. There was an item underneath the points, but I didn't want to find out in case it was a minigun. game has probably like one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. It's just so jazzy and fun. Yeah. Uh, the Saturn port had some very small differences. Uh, the main difference is that enemies spawn slightly less often, so it's a slightly easier version of the game. Uh, 
Ow. Let's see if I can get some health. Nope. Uh, the loading screens, of course. Uh, and uh, you have a limited number number of credits. And uh, by default, the bombs are set higher. Uh, so, like on the Saturn port, by default, you have 20 grenades instead of 10 as you're starting. And if you want to change that, you have to input a code, which I find strange. to uh comfortable here <laughs> For, fortunately the next stage is pretty good about health i can keep that so no there are no extents in this game what you get is what you get and by default you can get two lives you can start out with two lives and i think this game is very fair once you study the game and get used to uh, where things are and how, how uh, AI works. Um, I think it's a very fair game. I'm going here. I'm just gonna wait around for the elevator a little bit. Mostly seeing if I can get some health uh, farmed up. I know where I can get health though. Not there. Nope. Oh well. One life down, that's too bad. I was trying too hard to farm health and. Saving my grenades. <laughs> but still got one more life. And that's perfectly fine. Okay, there we go. Dealt with that thing. And up we go. It ate my, uh, my run. <laughs> so one credit thing. Or credit number two. That's unfortunate. It ate my input for movement, so I wasn't close enough to the edge to make that jump. <laughs> That's unfortunate, though. I will say, lately, stage four has been weirdly tough for me. And I'm not sure why, because stage four is usually one of the easier stages for me. <laughs> Game over, yeah! I am playing on an actual arcade board here, so uh, neither. <laughs> I do have it on Saturn, though, and I like that version a lot. 
Ooh, I'll pick that. Okay, down. So, camera broke a bit. Fixed it. recommend getting a title f3 they're wonderful the only catch with them is that if you use like an ossc they're a pain to uh, capture with that i'm currently using a retro tank to capture it uh apparently it's just because that the uh output on uh non-standard uh like progressive lines than most other systems <laughs> See, I'm not gonna bother farming more grenades. I'm just gonna wait. here all right now we get the fun part of where the sound gets killed for some reason um, and then nothing plays until the we open a door later that this door for the next one I'm not sure why they chose to do that because it just makes this kind of section kind of boring <laughs> Like, it's not a bad section at all, it's just it's weird without any music. Yeah, that's fine. Up we go. And the moment we exit that door, music kicks back in. Okay, nice. So now I'm going to try to do a manipulation here. Wow. <laughs> Got caught on the corner. That's funny. So if I don't run off the elevators until, um, okay, never mind then. I broke it. Unexpectedly, something shot me. <laughs> uh, there's a manipulation you can do where you can lock the screen one level higher than it's supposed to be. And it lines up all the elevators in a way where you can just keep going down them without having to wait for a cycle. But uh, getting shot there kind of broke it. <laughs> Because it knocked me down a floor and also killed me, which uh, moved, the, which uh, reoriented the camera back to its normal position. All right, now we're in my one of my favorite tracks in the game. Yeah. Also, I found out, uh, again, through the Steam uh, release in their description, that turning out the lights doubles the points you can earn. Because I had never could understand what ha why you'd want to turn on the lights other than it looks it's a cool effect. But apparently it has a use. Oh, wow. It's fine.
Cool, got some grenades. Oh, sweet, there's some health up there, too. Although I'm getting a little impatient. <laughs> Happens when you're near the end of the stage. Okay, take some damage there. That one was intentional. Okay, miss that elevator. Oh man, that guy's being a jerk. There we go. Just gonna wait for that. Emergency. 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 Yeah, there's health in this one if I can get it. Yeah. Honestly, I'm pretty okay at this point. Uh, some more health is nice, but. Uh, this stage is pretty free. Oh well. I was hoping just to get a little bit more, but eh. blowing up on him, that's funny. Hey, I'm a little low on grenades, but that's fine. Or not grenades, but missiles. me before oh my god that's hilarious before my rocket went off <laughs> like I pressed that button and I was dead I've never seen that before now we're gonna take down red suit with some good old classic grenades <laughs> that was not an input eating. He just was faster than me. <laughs> but yeah, a little bit over. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me. It was definitely a little bit messy near the end, but... You know, sometimes the... Just the game gets you. <laughs> But I highly recommend this game. It's a very approachable arcade game, though. And it is has a wonderful soundtrack. It's just really fun to get into. Um, this came out, like, in 94, I think, long after, like, these kind of games were starting to fade out and people are moving to the cool 3D graphics of, like, Sega Rally and Virtua Fighter. <laughs> but, yeah, check it out. Wonderful game. Um, new version just came out. You can play the original Saturn version. Um, emulates in MAME. I don't know, I've heard that emulation name's gotten better, but I don't know personally. I've only ever played it uh, on either the Saturn or the F3 board. But thank you for so much for watching. Enjoy Twinkle Star Sprites, the next game coming up. It's a, I love that game so much. It was one of the reasons I bought a Neo Geo, just because that game is so much fun.